Narrated by Jabir, this verse, when two of your parties from among you were about to lose heart, was revealed in our connection, i.e. Bani Salama and Bani Haritha and I would not have liked that, if it was not revealed, for Allah said, but Allah was their protector and supporter, Surah 3 verse 122. Narrated by Jabir. Allah's messenger peace be upon him said to me, have you got married O Jabir? I replied, yes. He asked what, a virgin or a matron? I replied, not a virgin but a matron. He said, why did you not marry a young girl who would have fondled with you? I replied, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. My father was martyred on the day of Uhud and left nine orphan daughters who are my nine sisters, so I dislike to have another young girl of their age, but I sought an elderly woman who could comb their hair and look after them. The Prophet peace be upon him said, you have done the right thing. Narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah. That his father was martyred on the day of the battle of Uhud and was in debt and left six orphan daughters. Jabir, added, when the season of plucking the dates came, I went to Allah's messenger peace be upon him and said, you know that my father was martyred on the day of Uhud, and he was heavily in debt, and I would like that the creditors should see you. The Prophet peace be upon him said, go and pile every kind of dates apart. I did so and called him, means the Prophet peace be upon him. When the creditors saw him, they started claiming their debts from me then in such a harsh manner as they had never done before. So when he saw their attitude, he went round the biggest heap of dates thrice, and then sat over it and said, O Jabir, call your companions, means the creditors. Then he kept on measuring and giving to the creditors their due till Allah paid all the debt of my father. I would have been satisfied to retain nothing of those dates for my sisters after Allah had paid the debts of my father. But Allah saved all the heaps, of dates, so that when I looked at the heap where the Prophet peace be upon him had been sitting, it seemed as if a single date had not been taken away thereof. Narrated by Sa'd bin Abu Waqtas. I saw Allah's messenger peace be upon him on the day of the battle of Uhud accompanied by two men fighting on his behalf. They were dressed in white and were fighting as bravely as possible. I had never seen them before, nor did I see them later on. Narrated by Sa'd bin Abu Waqtas. The Prophet peace be upon him took out a quiver of arrows for me on the day of Uhud and said, Throw arrows, let my father and mother be sacrificed for you. 